is KBOI 2 News this morning. Just about 625 ATM fees are hitting a record high for the 11th year in a row. The reason might have to do with the more frequent use of electronic payments. Meg Oliver explains. Edgar Hernandez tries to use his bank's ATM to avoid fees, but sometimes in a pinch he has to use one that's not in his bank's network. So how much do you end up paying in those extra fees? Yeah, sometimes they charge $3, $2, and then also the bank charges you on top of that. A report from Bankrate.com says the average total fee for an out-of-network withdrawal is now at an all-time high of $4.69. That's up 55% over the past decade. Over the course of a year, this is something that can add up to hundreds of dollars. Bankrate.com's Greg McBride says fees vary in different cities. Pittsburgh, New York, Washington, D.C., and Cleveland have the highest. Seattle, San Francisco, Milwaukee, and Dallas are among the lowest. These are fees that are punitive in nature, and they keep escalating. Customers face two separate fees when using an out-of-network ATM. The owner of the machine can charge one fee, and your bank can charge another for using a different bank's ATM. Bankrate says people are using ATMs less because they're using less cash and paying with credit more. With fewer ATM withdrawals being made, banks have fewer opportunities to charge fees that are used to maintain their ATM networks. That's one of the catalysts for these continued increases that we see in ATM fees year in, year out. McBride says to avoid fees, only use ATMs in your network. Most banks now have apps that can help you find one nearby. You can also join a bank that reimburses out-of-network charges. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.